This is Greg Infante here, and I just got in an unfired, new with matching suppressor, Powder Springs Mac 10 and 9 millimeter, and it's a police model. So this is going to be an unboxing. Looks like this gun was made around August 9th, 1971. Here's the serial number, 360, and here's the that matching silencer and it even came with an original blued Walther magazine brand new so here we go let's take it out of the time capsule looks like the gun came in a sealed bag it seems to still have air in it. So now we're going to go ahead and smell some 50 year old air. Here we go, folks. Wow, look at this. Looks like there was a little hard in there to keep the moisture off. So this is an original rare blue police model. They only made a few of these for maybe about a year and then discontinued. And the gun does have a decent finish considering it's a Mac. There's some imperfections in the metal but oh, look at that. Seems a little gummy. All right, let's put this down. Now let's look at the suppressor. Serial number matches the box. It's a little pouch. And as usual, it has the eyelets. You can hear them shaking around in there. This appears to be one of the later throwaway end caps, and the suppressor may have been test fired. And the serial number matches the gun, so let's see how she fits and looks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now let's get the magazine out and see how it fits. Original blue Walther magazine. It's got some cosmoline on it. Wow, look at that. I gotta take this off, but let's see how it fits. Oh yeah, goes right in there. Let's take it over in the light. You can see it a little bit better. So that's the blued police model. And we're going to take it apart in a minute, see what it looks like inside, and probably going to fire it. Let's see the uh, serial number. Triple zero three sixty. Same serial number of the gun. Looks like there's a lot of cosmoline on here. It's pretty well preserved. 
part, you want to pull this back. Here we go. Looks like it's all blued nicely inside. And let's check out. The bolt, barrel. Looks like there's all cosmoline inside. And these parts look like they might be hardened. It's got that plum look to it. Okay, we are now going to remove the light cosmoline using the lube side of the ultrasonic tank because the parts are already clean and the sonic lube will dissolve the cosmoline quickly. If the gun was really dirty, we would have used the cleaning side of the ultrasonic tank first. Look at how they polish this out from the factory. They made it nice and smooth. Hopefully this is going to work. So now we're going to we're going to take this cosmoline off. Here's the magazine. It's got the cobra mark right there stamped into it. And then MP9, which is the wall thermal. And it's, it appears that they even attempted to polish and blue the, the retractable stock, so it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's get this dipped in the sonic lube. Coil's nice and warm, so it looks like it took all the cosmoline off. Look at the plum color on the trunnion. Let this drain a little bit. Boy, these Walter magazines are really nice. Look at that. MP9, modified by Mac. Receiver. The bluing is fairly good, but you see there's a lot of 
like bending marks that they didn't polish out, but it's still an interesting gun. like the stock was even somewhat polished and blue. It's definitely not phosphated. Looks good. Okay. Get it back together. Try it out. Okay, so we got everything Decreased now. There's just a light coating of the sonic lube on there. It's starting to dry off now, but Cosmoline's all gone. What I find interesting is how they went and polished this whole area, the extractor, the whole feeding mechanism. So hopefully this is going to be one of the guns that works. They even polished the feed ramp, and the barrel is beautiful. Uh, it even seems to have a little crown in the front. And everything else uh, is degreased and ready to go. So let's put it together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little good lube on here. Got some firepower FP10. Right through. Here we go, locked in. Okay. Put a little oil on the ejector slot. Here we go. Let's check the function. So put it on semi, pull a trigger. Comes back and locks. Looks like semi works, and of course, let's see if full works. Oh, yeah. Safety. Guess the safe works, which I never use. <laughs> okay. Ready to go. Okay, let's take it out to the range. Okay, so here we are. We're going to try out this original unfired MAC-10 police model um, with an original Walther mag. Now here's the original silencer, and I'm, I'm not going to use this one because, you know, it's, it's old technology. Um, the wipes look crumbly. And it's cool because I think that there was some attempt to polish it or make it almost look like the gun. Um, but anyway, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. But I do have an AWC Mark 9, which I really like. It's a high volume, full auto rated can for a Mac. So I'll just use that. We're going to try a few without. Let's try it on full. Seems to feed.
Wow. It worked. <laughs> Very nice. And it seems to have a slower cyclical rate than what I thought. Well, let's try the silencer. It's one of my favorite cans. And uh, let's go give it a shot. I don't quite know where this is shooting yet, but I'll figure it out at some point. Wow, listen to that ricochet. Man, that's quiet. shooting high into the right, so I got to adjust that. It's interesting, this gun has windage adjustment on the front sight, which was long discontinued. This is sweet. Awesome. Wow, I'm really impressed. 30 60 rounds, not one jam or failure to feed. How unmack like. <laughs> this is great. Okay, guys. <laughs>